Elliot, in trying to understand the philosophy of evolutionary biology, I see these terms, which I understand in their biological context, but I really want to understand the deeper philosophical foundations. I hear, I hear function, I hear fitness, I hear adaptation. What's the definition of these terms? What are controversies among philosophers or what they mean? And uh, what do you think? Philosophers, um, starting in the 1970s, did a lot of work on understanding what the concept of function means, both in evolutionary biology, in non-evolutionary biology, and in ordinary life, <laughs> where we talk about the function of this is to do that. And two, two conceptual frameworks developed and were explored. One of them regarded function, the, talking about the function of a characteristic as a claim about its history, how it got there. Mm. So we say that the function of the heart is to pump blood. We don't say the function of the heart is to make noise. Why? According to this first way of understanding function, the reason is, the reason hearts evolved is because they pump blood. That's what caused them to be sent to the, develop and sent to the next generation. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we have hearts. That you might call that the cause or the etiological concept of function. It's not to pump noise. It's not to make noise rather. <laughs> even though it's making noise might do us some good when we try to put a baby to sleep by putting it mm. against our chest, when a doctor looks for heart problems by listening to a stethoscope. It has beneficial effects, but it's not the function of the heart to do that. That's the first picture. That's the his historical. The historical one. Then the other is not historical. It's just you look now and you see what kind of processes are going on. So yeah, there's a process in which um, the heart uh, pumps blood, that does us some good. You see, so that's a function of the heart. But when you go to the uh, doctor, maybe you'll say the function of, of, the, of the noise making thing is to help the doctor mm -hmm. to uh, diagnose heart problems. And that's and, legitimate. And function. that's a legitimate. It's also causal, but it's not historical in the sense yeah. of going back right. in the evolutionary right. past. So it's the current, the current effects of the thing that are of interest, right. and it's, those are the two. And, and, and that would be a broader one. This right. This would be broader. Okay, so that's function. How about fitness? Uh, fitness ha means the ability to survive and reproduce. And it doesn't mean physical fitness <laughs> going to the gym. Right. Um, and that's uncontroversial? Yes, I think that is uncontroversial. How you combine the ability to survive with the ability to reproduce to get some picture of the overall fitness of an organism is, is a more subtle question because consider the peacock's gaudy tail. It's bad to have a gaudy tail when you're trying to grow up from childhood to adulthood because that big gaudy tail is something that a predator could grab hold of. Mm. But once you reach adulthood, it's great for reproduction mm. because female peahens mm. like uh, the gaudy tail. So there's a trade-off here between viability and fertility, and so getting those understood in connection is okay. So that and, and and adaptation. Okay, adaptation is definitely a historical concept. I think in evolutionary biology, and it ought to be to say that the, you would say unhesitatingly that the heart is a an adaptation for pumping blood mm -hmm. because that's why it evolved by natural selection. Mm -hmm. Whereas you wouldn't say the heart is an adaptation for making noise if its noise making is not was not selected right. for. But it might be a function under the second definition. Yeah, that's but it, right. it wouldn't be an adaptation, which is really related to the the first definition of function, which is the historical. Yeah. So so that's why these words are used. But it's very important to understand the the origin of the word and the different ways to think about them, so you see the articulation between them. And this is a good example where adaptation relates to one of the definitions of function, but not to the other. Exactly. Okay. So um, are, are philosophers comfortable now that they understand that, or are they still arguing? Um, there still is controversy about which of those two concepts of function is the correct one. Um, I myself think they're both legitimate, and we just have to flag what we mean by function when we say if we're going to talk about functions as philosophers. But I... He, but, but there are philosophers who think there are decisive arguments against one or the other of those two. So the, the story continues.